Hello, and thank you for joining us today for another one of Sporty's Flight Simulator How-To videos. Today we are going to cover how to configure the Redbird rudder pedals with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now before we jump into the program, it is required to run the calibration setup for these pedals. You can find instructions in the box with the Redbird pedals, and once that's taken care of, we can jump right into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now we can begin configuration by heading on over to the controls page. You'll see I already have a couple components plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and plug in our Redbird pedals right now. And you'll see them pop up with the name J Rudder. I'll click on J Rudder and you'll notice that the system does not recognize these pedals. So we're going to have to input them manually. Now typically I like to run a sensitivity test but it's not recognizing those either. I've gone ahead and mapped these out and you'll be able to find that map on our product page at sporties.com. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and start applying the commands to which buttons I would like. We're gonna begin with the brakes and we'll start with the left brake axes. And this is gonna be left axes X. And let's validate it. And we are able to save this as a certain profile, which is very helpful if you want to change the sensitivity on your pedals, whether it's a 172 or a Cessna Citation, this is very helpful. But for time, I'm going to leave it as the default J rudder profile today. All right. And you'll notice it's quite sporadic. I found the pedals are very sensitive. And we'll, I'll show you a trick to that in just a few seconds. Also, the left brake axis needs to be reversed. And this way, as you push down on the left pedal, it will apply brakes. For some reason, default is the inverse. Go ahead and click that reverse axis box and you'll be all set. The right brake is going to be left axis Y. Let's validate that. All right, and just like the left brake, the right brake is uh, quite sporadic. Now, I found a trick to take care of this is to push at the base of the pedals, just like you would when you're taking off, you move your feet to the base and apply pressure there. It's the same thing with the Redbird rudder pedals to get rid of the small sporadic inputs. And it works quite well. So here we see controls are dead. And as I slowly release my toes, they come back a little bit. All right, so pushing full left brake, that's full extended. Pushing right brake, full extended. You'll notice that the axis has full travel. And by pushing at the base, we can stop all the uh, small inputs that it naturally gives off. All right, so brakes are set. Let's go ahead and take care of our rudder travel. So we'll go to our primary control surfaces, set on down to rudder axes. And for this, we're going to apply left axes Z. Okay, neutral. I'm going to go ahead and apply full left rudder. There we are. Let's go ahead and apply full right rudder. Okay, that works as it should. So we've got rudder taken care of. I'm going to go ahead and uh, save it. Uh, you see the spinning wheel, which shows it is saved to the game, which is ever important. We'll head on over to assigned, just to make sure everything that I applied is still where it should be. And we are all set. I'm going to put my toes at the base of the pedals. There's the stop and brake action. And we're all set. So again, we appreciate you tuning in to watch today's video on the Redbird RD1 rudder pedals. We're going to continue to add more and more videos on how to configure hardware with the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 program. We hope this was helpful. We ask that you subscribe and please feel free to tune back in. Thanks for your time and have a great day.